lot of people have been asking for this. Yes, one person is a lot in my book. I will now list some tips to earn the highest possible amount of XP. As soon as you reach level 105, you can access the arena manager. And after farming runes for a while, you can get items with runes that give you bonus XP received through questing. This bonus at most can be 10%. So for that matter, you can have one item set just for questing and another one for fighting. The daily mission is around equal to the longest XP focused quest in XP rewards. But unfortunately, it sometimes really is difficult to complete the mission as you might be forced to spend mushrooms. In the end though, it often still is free XP and by defeating a Hydra head, the XP reward goes up by 25% for every head. The time machine is a very good source of experience, especially when you're not able to actively play the game for a few days. It stores first for adventure and you can just fight some monsters to gain decent rewards. In late game another big thing of course is the calendar, as only one level up later on is a lot. You just have to log in every day and well, done. The scrapbook can be found in the magic shop from level 10 on. You can collect entries by fighting enemies but you also need to win the fight to earn them. Filling the scrapbook earns you a XP bonus proportional to the extent you have the scrapbook completed. Of course that is why you should get to it as soon as possible. At the beginning you can just blindly fight enemies in the arena, but later on it will get more difficult to gain entries. But most of the time you just need to scroll way down the hall of fame to find lower level items. And as soon as you reach level 85, you can find the holy grail which also makes it much more easy to find items that you are missing in your scrapbook. Ok this is pretty basic but just try to always have the best mount equipped as it easily is possible to earn enough mushrooms to constantly have it active. Additionally, at the beginning it is very useful to verify your email immediately after starting a character as you then have 25 mushrooms which you will need to invest in a good mount. You can also see at which point it really is worth getting a 50% mount in one of my videos. No cracker, we didn't release that video yet. Wow, really? I started calculating that over a year ago though. Well anyway, you will see the link to it in the description as soon as it comes out. One of the most important tips of course is looking for quests that reward you with the highest possible XP rewards. Just compare the free quests you are given and figure out which quest gives the most experience in regards to the first for adventure it consumes. Guilds can grant you one of the largest XP bonuses. Of course you won't be able to always get the max bonus because most of the time it might be difficult to get into such a guild immediately after starting a character. Plus guilds are not able to provide that bonus on very young servers as it takes some time to defeat all raids. So those were all sources of XP. I could also have included the wheel of fortune. But to be honest, that is a bit far-fetched, isn't it? And obviously the Wheel of Fortune only provides you with materialistic rewards. But the sole thing I want is love and hot gay sex.